just jump off and take a look at it as it goes. Man, man. That is neat looking, man. Hey Geeks, Rally here, and thanks for joining me today as we play some Last Oasis. So I've been streaming this recently. Um, we decided to kind of catch up and maybe do a video because uh, Monkey Puzzle and I have been kind of working towards getting something built today. Uh, so we just made some moves. I figured I'd bring you guys in. Monkey's already here streaming. I'm going to do some recording for a video uh, so we can kind of show this off. But let me bring you in and show you where we're at. Right now we're at a new base where all of our clan is kind of just getting everything working again. So I'm going to turn the, the vocals on and we'll go check it out. You ready? Let's go see what's going on. Uh, we're, sorry, let me back up. We're building a mollusk today. That's the idea. New walker and the mollusk. We're going to build one. So here we go. Yeah. Did you show him the clay you said? I did. Nice. I'm going to just run over there real quick and poke in. Yep. So we have goals today. We do. Like, we like do. proper streamer and recording YouTuber dudes. Yes. We had goals last night and they... Uh... Yeah. Maybe it was Sorry. because we had goals that we weren't allowed to do it. Yep. This is the soil extracting area. This is where we get all the stuff for clay, and then there'll be furnaces that actually will turn this into shards, which we need for a bunch of stuff. So that's the muddy yep. area underneath us here. And most of the time you can find that by looking for what apple trees, right? Yeah. And then they got rid got rid of the poor apple trees. Yep. Just want the clay. Ceramic shards are the third tier material for third tier weapons and tools and stuff like that. Yep. So you can see a whole bunch of names, a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of walkers here. Yes. People putting their bases out, feeling all nice and safey safe, mm -hmm. which is always an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you said uh, we've got a quality spot to go harvest up some stuff real quick first, right? Yeah, we've been trying to gather for the last couple of days, gather some quality mats for our goal today, which we still haven't said, is we're going to try to make the new ship, the mollusks. And quality ones at that. Right. Uh, which we haven't done yet. And we're just starting to explore quality materials. We have some uh, starting to get quality tools on us. Of course, it's nice and misty when we started this. That's how it works. Uh, we want to go way I'm pointed. So this this thing that I'm on right here is a rangefinder that you can put on top of your ship. It's like a spyglass. The neat thing is it shows you quality stuff. So when we get a little closer to the spot we're going, uh, we'll jump on that and show you what the quality looks like. See how like the easiest way to kind of hunt that stuff out while you're here in the oasis. I'm still not always sure what's the best way to pick my way through here. It's a little hard getting into this swamp, but it's um totally worth it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try going this way around. Last time I went the other way and it didn't work out too well. You going to the left or to the right? To the right. Okay. But yeah, so the mollusk is the new walker. It's kind of the other level that's kind of the same as the stiletto. So this is the stiletto right here. This is kind of the first warship thing. The big difference is the stiletto has more weight on it. You can pack more stuff onto here, um, but it uses torque slower, um, where the uh, the mollusk is a it kind of uses the torque the same way the dinghy does. So it's a quick burst and it's really up to speed pretty fast. Um, but it has like twenty five hundred, I think we heard was the weight limit on it instead of the eight thousand this has. So pretty big difference on that part for it. Oops. I have a map up. That's why I was crashing. No, okay. as, long as, <laughs> um, the, as long as we don't hit the trees, the, we're the, good, man. The mollusk has more than that. Does it? Okay. It has like 50, 5,000. Oh, that's something. right. That's right. That's right. It was, yeah. like, it was a couple thousand short of eight. That's what it was. Yeah, it's it's better than the dinghy. Um, it's probably going to be more like what people use the dinghy for. Yeah. Yeah, my point. goal is to use this as a dinghy replacement. So... All right, Digi on the rangefinder. Awesome. Uh, so, you guys, if you've watched the streams, you've seen that uh, cattails have been, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 plants at a time. This is the hard zone cattail area. <laughs> One of them. I'm trying to figure out where we're at. Should be going to the right. 
We're yeah. on the back edge. We should just have to follow the right. The piece behind us. Yep. The mist doesn't help. No. Oh, oh, oh. All this bog wood. Okay, so yeah, this is where they are. Right here. Yep. So when you look at them with the rangefinder, I should, Raleigh and I should probably both look at that too, okay, just go to for show it, people. Monkey. Show. I'll do mine just um, a second. So as we look at trees, if they have levels, should right be, now I'm looking through the wings, so it's not really working. They Here, should let me be move the, the ship a little bit. The ones the back up there, anyways. We'll turn this way. It's over here. So if you want to go straight ahead, because it's the ones up by the rocks on this, so maybe a slightly different spot than where you're looking before. Oh yeah, that's not what these ones behind us. Yeah, so you can see where I'm looking now. Digi's ones... over there. Okay, so it changes because uh, we were trying to figure out if they stay the same. Yeah. Um, from map to map, because the maps are exactly identical. So you can see at the top middle of my screen, uh, it says pine tree 42 plus. It only shows your level. So you can see in my top right corner, I'm 42 now. So it shows me that the quality is 42. It's it's above what my max level is. Yeah, there you saw 44 plus out of 44. So it means it's higher than 44, but that's all we get to see. You can only see as high as your level, like you said. Now before, these ones were the ones, so it is not exactly the same. But at least they kind of put them in the same area. We don't know if we're going to get as good as the other ones were. Yeah. But yeah. And then you were so, using a quality, this is a quality three. This is the X I have. You were using quality four before and getting four, but it was also an advanced hatchet. I don't know if that makes a difference. Okay. Well, let's, I'm going to harvest one of these with a bone and we'll see how that comes out. Okay. Yeah. Or well, why don't you just take a whack? Okay. Whack. We'll do one whack. I got five from that one whack and it's level 30 for me. Is what it says. Oh, that's not very good. Yeah. What'd, What'd you, you get, did you? 31. 31, okay. So monkey gives it a whack with a good axe. Or, oh, or your hand. I put my axe away. Or my hand. My high quality hand. <laughs> uh huh. What'd you get? I got level 30. Okay, so how this many? does not match the other one. How many? The other did you one get? must have been much higher level because the other one, I, with the same axe, I was getting level uh, quality 80. Yeah. How many did the you get? The best we got was 30. Uh, 31. Okay, so did Digi you, gets to do the work. <laughs> did you get five, monkey, for quantity? Oh, per whack? I forgot how many I got per whack, but I got out of the grove that I was harvesting. Ah, uh, yes, it's 32. Um, out, of, out of the grove I was harvesting, I got like 150. Well, what did you just get per whack now? Oh, okay. Let me try again. <laughs> I think it's always five. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If it's different. because five. Yeah. Okay, because we've got the bone one, so I don't know if it's going to be different. Okay. But maybe you get more wax? I don't know. But yeah, so the idea is if we get the quality wood here, we can use that to build... We can put the quality wood into the base, uh, or the the body of the walker. And like, we'll jump up on here real quick on the stiletto. I'll show you what the stiletto has now. So if we open the storage here. So this stiletto f has four module slots in this, right? When you get it above level 10, you unlock another one of these. So when you use high quality materials, we get more options here for the modules. So that'll be kind of the goal uh, with the next with the next thing we're going to build is to actually get that part up and get better quality uh, wood into the, the hull itself and get uh, more options for modules. Yeah, what he was talking about was in here, uh, in upgrades, how many modules you can stack right here. So yeah, I can only do four. We should get three or four at least rows of them that stack up to 10 each be fantastic yeah so should we just drop our base here this has been my home the last few times yeah i mean should we safe enough to do that yeah and this man we've moved to the hard tiles now the amount of cattails you can get here is ridiculous it's so good i can't wait to go see the bone too <laughs> We used to go down these canyons on the medium tiles, and they'd have like maybe 30 cattail clumps you could Slim harvest pickings, from or something. Man. This is all cattails. You can't harvest them all. Yeah. I mean, there's more out there. 
tons. You'll break your tool yeah. before you even harvest at, this patch. Look at how like look at how big this swamp is on the map compared to the section that we're in right now. <laughs> like it's huge. All right, so let's put the new base down. And there's more. It's been a little, it's been a little finicky about yeah. putting it down here. Keeps saying that it's an object. Okay, there we can put it there. You can just there raise it those usually. ramps. I don't think it's the ramps. That would be landscape, not object. I just broke someone's woodworking station here, oh, yeah, so it wouldn't that. be the thing. Oh, this is the new mechanic but, too. This is the now the base I'm packing is no longer instant. It's a second per piece. So you can see the little countdown that shows up. There's 71 pieces to unpack now. Yeah, so have you learned the mollusk too? Yeah. Hey, Glax. Sorry, buddy. I didn't realize that we hadn't pulled you in yet. So we put Glax in too. Yep, I've got the mollusk, okay. the mollusk learned. I don't have um, all the upgrades because you guys got that stuff with the tablets. So I have yeah. the mollusk and I have the bone upgrades learned. Yeah, and I've I've got the um, not just the mollusk, but I've got the heavy wings and the walker parts. I've got the heavy wing and the armored legs, which it actually doesn't say specifically mollusk here. It just says heavy wing and armored legs. I wonder I, if that's going to be good for all the walkers. I think that it, you can put the heavy legs on, like you can use that icon to put them on. What he's looking at is this here. You can put that on anything you've learned that for. Okay. You know I'm saying? And there's these weird bugs here that just float and collect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, insects. So I may not have gathered everything, but I was trying to get ready for this. Um, it's nice and atmospheric in the base with the willow coming through it here. But I've been putting together high quality mats to do this with. Oh, look, Someone's... they're, they're, they're here gathering the. Uh... They hear gathering cattails right now. Or oh, wood that XP. Oh. See that yeah, XP? Yeah, holy crap. Ooh, <laughs> they're gathering wood right now. Yeah, that's now. the way to level up. Oh, wow. Look at how much we're getting just being this close. God, wow. we should just ride around on that for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I want to take that Same. job. I'll I, do that. Uh, wow. So that, there's there's, um, we're even there's close mods right on that ship that are, uh, what's it called? The forager mods? Yeah. Well, this that... is the lumberjack mods on this one because they're grabbing trees. Oh, that's the lumberjack. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, they got two toboggans outfitted, uh, frankincense and myrrh. Myrrh is the lumberjack. And uh, so when the tree runs, when the, hey, nerdy nymph. <laughs> Thanks for following. Um, Should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, when it runs over trees, it collects wood. So that's what they're doing. And they must have guys pulling it out of the cargo hold and put it in boxes and stuff. And then the other one, uh, <laughs> Murr, I think, has the forger mods that they could drive over all these cattails and pick them up. Dude, 13, do same kind of thing. 1,300 XP just from being nearby right now. <laughs> and we're not, even, we're not even that close. Come back. <laughs> uh, all righty. So... Um, yeah, let's make some mollusks. Yeah, so let's make yours first. Okay. And then, because uh, what we, so Monkey and, uh, he was a, who was online with you last night when the servers actually cooperated for a while? Glax and Crackers. So Glax, Crackers, and Monkey have been gathering fools and have been actually getting some nice quality uh, wooden stuff gathered up for this specifically. Yeah, let's just find you where I put it. And it's right here. Um, so I got to figure out how this goes i haven't done the quality thing before but the if we look at the building the walker i think you want like regular stuff first right to build the frame and then no, i don't know no, about that no no, no. no okay you want it all yeah and make yeah. sure you don't have any regular stuff in your inventory so okay. it doesn't get confused but yeah I think hey you hell guess make it all you have to uh use all of it okay so you um, just for the, the frame on Okay, so the frame on it, then when you get to the legs and the wings, you can put Doesn't the regular matter. stuff on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, we're still getting XP. <laughs> um, I will check that out in a bit, Hellgast. I said he flipped his Falco. <laughs> I will definitely check that out. Um, but yeah, so we've been gathering high-quality stuff for this. We're going to see how it works out. So for the 
was looking at this for the mollusk. So to make the base of it, I need 40 wood and one rope. And then I'm going to need a total of 570 wood and 12 rope, uh, 80 fiber stone. So I've um, got most of that stuff together here. I keep looking in the wrong box. So there's the, the total fiber. There's the stone. The stone I was only able to find up to level one. Fiber yeah. got level 12. Of course it gets better. The fiber weave I got at two. The rope at 12. And then we're going to take the best of the woods here. So we've got some 80. We're going to take that. I don't know if I can carry all of it at one go. That's the thing. So we need 570. Um, you know, I'll tell you what. I'm going to start with that and make the frame. And yeah. then we'll grab the rest. Okay, yeah. Um, so we'll use the <laughs> we'll use the um, the very highest stuff for the frame. So we'll do that, and uh, I guess we'll just put it right out here, huh? Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of between some trees. All right. So. so place that it should show you what level it's going to be, but it can oh. change depending on what your this keeps doing math. It seems. And I got to get some so. vision powder, which we've got. Oh, oh yeah. Always important. You need to add something to hide your map. I'm not worried about the mini map, man. And when I when I look at the uh, big map, I've been mostly putting the thing up. <laughs> Getting some more XP. Mostly. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there, man. Okay, so some vision powder. I don't need six of them. Hello. Back up there. Come on. Okay, one. All right. <laughs> Got to take your drugs to make your boats. <laughs> this is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is wrong. All right, there we go. Whoa, everything's all weird. Should I make a level two thirty, uh, level thirty-two fiber shirt, or should no, I make a mollusk? No, mollusk, probably a mollusk. All right, I'll make the mollusk. So, where does it say what level it's going to be? When you place the frame, it'll it'll say kind of at the top. See After I place it. After you place it, yeah. All right, there it goes. Whoa. Boom. So okay, says, so does it say up it's there only going to be level 20. That's what it says for mine, Ooh. too. Well, yeah. it can change. Mine started off okay. at 24. And okay. It seemed to, it went up to 30 in the end. I don't nice. know why. I'm still figuring it out. But... Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the best I got right now, so it's better than none. Yeah. All right, so ooh, let me grab some more wood and stuff. We're just going to keep grabbing the best level ones. Neat. I should have all the other stuff on me. So we'll grab the 70s and the 69 and see how far that gets us. Yeah, we are just using quality mats for the building. So, trying to be in a good habit of closing the door. All right, so let's get up here. Oh, hey, be oh, careful. By the way, Don't go inside it. Oh, yeah, I know about that. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, I'm inside it. Well, actually, I'm on top of it, right? Yeah, right there you are. Here. As long as you don't get inside the, the cockpit deal. Yeah. Yeah, you can build yourself inside, and there'll be, like, one more bit. I guess if you had the mats on you, you'd be all right. Yeah. But you can lock yourself in. Is your rope high quality, too? It's 12. Oh, okay. I mean, it could be worse. Okay, we need a bit more wood. I can get in there. Level 20 walker. Yeah, I thought it would be higher. I'm not super excited by that number. Oh, I think it'll the, average out think, higher. Yeah, it's gonna. I think it's gonna change before the end. Okay. Well, there's some level. We're down to level 30 now, for the wood. Because like I only used level 40 wood, and I ended up with a level 30. Oh, uh, there's 31 that we just harvested. If you want to add one point. Uh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> it's all right. Boom. Okay. Is there anything left? Something. That's the. Because it says nine right? of ten. Yeah. Oh, it's down inside. 
Do I dare? Get inside it now? Yeah. Oh, I can't open it. Can you go from oh, there. It's down at the bottom. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, Wait. I got all messed up when that happened. That was weird. Uh, 35. Oh, okay. 35 is much better. Nice. nice. Very nice. Cool. All right. So we're going to um, get into disassembly mode. And we're going to disassemble those legs. That's right. And those wings. And That's we're going to make this into a super tank. That's right. So the hole, yeah, look at that beautiful hole. That so good, the whole point of this one is you can get inside and they can't get at you unless they break the hole. And I've seen people do all kinds of crazy stuff inside there of uh, putting chests and crafting stations and all kinds of stuff. Uh, we'll check it all out once we drop it. Um, but now, I'm going to close that. And in the parts, we're going to put on heavy wings, which are just as fast as any of the wings. Oh, you're too far away. Okay. Uh, there we go. Saw it green for a second. Um, but they have way more HP. Their downside is they're huge. Oh, but trying to get in that way. There we go. We can jump. Heavy <laughs> wing. We're inside it. <laughs> but they these have like four thousand something HP compared to the one thousand some of the the base wings. And then same thing with these legs we're about to put on. We're gonna put the the armored legs. Oh, those wings look crazy. And they're, gonna, and they're gonna make it look nice and chunky. Ooh. One is doing its thing. Sweet, man. Your Falco's level 54, Halgast? Nice. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I need to select the next one. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. So we're going to need 245 wood, <laughs> Eclipse is 30 coming. wood shaft. <laughs> what? Eclipse is coming. <laughs> oh, no. Might have to wait for that. So this part, you're just going to put regular stuff in, right? Oh, you know what? I did put enough, uh, aside enough uh, ceramic shards for your legs, too. Nice. It's 24 uh, for both legs, and I pulled aside 48. Cool. Cool. All right. So I'm going to keep building, but <laughs> Raleigh's recording his. Um, let me see. We got the... I put it inside. Do I have them on me, actually? I don't. Where do I put the shards? Darkness comes. Oh, so no, I can find my scary. stuff. There's the shards. Okay, so I'm going to leave half of those for Raleigh. And then I don't need quality from this point on, right? Right. No. So I shouldn't waste it. Right. We'll be back. All right. Uh, there it is. The mollusk. With all the good upgrades Monkey put on it. Look at this guy. Ooh, it looks so mean with those legs on it, man. It does. It is beefy. Got a little back door in here. So I saw uh, two little neat tricks uh, with that stuff so far. Um, I saw one of them was with a walker climber. Put this back on. Oh, yeah, the one on top? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, saw that where you can so actually... Awesome. Project through the hatch. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Without it opening, so nice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. And then there's uh, a cool thing with the boxes too. So even if you don't keep them, we should put two little boxes and two small chests in so you just can see how that works. There we go. I knew I had some more rope somewhere. Um, and then what do the climbers take? The walker tools. They take. I uh, just need some more fiber. Absolutely. Let's just chop another tree or two. And we'll put on some walker climbers and the um, the uh, the levers. I'm interested to see how far out I can pull my view, but the idea with this is you you trade security for visibility when you're yep. driving Oops. and you really trade visibility yeah it's kind of a 
They advertise it well. I mean, the assumption is it's it's a solo vehicle, but it's really not. Dude. It can be like a clown car full of soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your your armor patrol. Out. Your armor uh, troop carrier, man. Get everybody safely into the interior of the attack wherever you want to go. You just kind of bomb in there, and then everybody piles out. All right, so let me see. Where's the best place to put? Can you just jump up into there? Probably should put a climber right here. So let me place it. I might need to be up in there. All right, let's just get in there first. All right, we'll start with the levers, which are in interactables. Seem to have garnered the attention of a Rupu. This is as far up as I can put them. Some people are like, ah, I don't like this. I'm going to put my levers on top, which would be cool, except then you don't get the security. I wish, yeah. I don't know, if you're really good, I guess I you could, if you don't have a base on here, you could transfer them real quick. But, um, it's too bad you can't have them in both places. But I know. I guess you also spawn where your levers are or something. Was the dark saying that? So it is advantageous to have it inside. But I don't know. We'll see about that visibility. It doesn't give you the ability to increase your field of view in here. I'm pressing plus and minus and it does nothing. So you so, are a static position for it, huh? Yeah, they definitely made sure of that. So that's third person. It's not too bad. I mean it is bad, but you can you can see what's going on. Um well, I kind of like that when you can look out the door. If you leave the back door open, you can kind of get <laughs> fleeting. Sounds super full dangerous. <laughs> thing. <laughs> that also defeats the purpose. Um, and then if this is uh, first person, can I go into first person? Apparently not. I thought you could. X doesn't take you into first? X is not taking me into first. Oh, you first. know what? Probably not because you can't turn to look sideways on those if you do that. Maybe I put them too far forward. Let's try if I move them back a little bit. All right. Pack base. And then uh, let's put them a little bit more reasonably back, maybe. I did enter it in first person. Let me see. This, that's first person. It is switching it. Okay. I swear I, th I saw someone doing it in first person, but it's yeah. not switching for me. Try pressing, like, can you do plus or minus from there? No, you can't, can you? Oh, wait, now I can do plus or minus. Okay. That's full minus. And now it's not working. Why is it changing? Weird. Oh. Oh, I have to hold it. I'm going to try putting these, these okay. chests in to see how they work. All right. And X? Yeah, no first person. Weird. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's what it is. All right, you're going to try to... I think they did it on this wall over here. Yeah. I think it was... He's trying the trick of uh, it was on stacking this one, the... Stacking the chests. And then I also want to see if I can do it with um, with the medium chests. There's like a height that it is green. But it looks like it's going to be higher up than anything you'd put down here. We're going to need a lot of ceramic oh. shards for the upgrades. My goodness. Why so? I saw the green spot for a second. 48. It's like 100 and something. Oh, it might have to be. 72. Oh it might God. have to be sideways. Give me like 250 ceramic shards for the ceramic upgrades. So we got all three levels of upgrades to do here. So we ended up with four slots for modules. Nice. Three of them at 10 and one at 6. And that's what the quality gives you, pretty much. That's the extent of it. There you go. <laughs> All right. That's awesome.
Yeah, so you can stack the small chests at least. We'll have to see if we can uh, stack the uh, you want to try to medium, medium chests. I can get rid of these then. We will uh, just disassemble them because we don't really need them for any reason. Disassemble the small chest, the small chest. Okay, that way that works. I'm going to grab the controls here. Oh. <laughs> this, is, this is neat, man. And then did you put one up top already? My walk climber? No, I haven't yet. I'm going to do that yeah, you put one of those right up there. now. So we can see how it works with the, the door. You can jump and get out of here, apparently. That's but not the, fun, oh. though. No. Well, the climber they had put... Um, it was on the... Was it right here? It's done or? like this. I don't know if you can drop down with it there. You know what? Actually, uh, open that back up, did you? Yeah, there we go. It done that one. Maybe I need to put it to the side. Yeah, put it, was it, put it, was it on this side or that side? I thought it was on this side. It was on that side? I think so. This is gonna, I mean, that saves oh, you deck yeah. space if you can. What did you say? It'll save you deck space back here if you can do that anyway, so. Yeah, I'm trying to get it as much out of the way as the hatch as possible so you can drop down in there. What if it's like that? Yeah, you can still drop in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky McSneakerton. <laughs> jump up and close. All right, so what he did is that. Very nice. I'm kind of stuck on it though. You might have got stuck because I was, because I was where I think you get kicked out. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you just gotta keep that side clear. Neat. Yeah, you'll get stuck because he's standing there. Oh, okay. It throws you all the way up there, huh? The center might not be a bad idea then, because that should kick you to the center of that spot. Oh, you still got stuck. Mm-hmm. If I shoot it again, you wanna, it really helps. You want to try to move it? Yeah, I'm going to move it. Okay. Oh, got to close the thing. We got to pack it first. Okay, so that throws you there. Oh, I do have to pack it. I got it. I can pack it from here. Okay. And then you can pick it back up, or I can put it up there, whatever you want. Yeah, go ahead. Can you get out? Yep. I can't close it though, so you'll have to do that part. Okay. Oh, I don't see a spot in the middle. Did you see a spot in the middle? I did. It was open when I did it. Uh, oh yeah, but... yeah, yeah. No. It, it oh, it was, it was it was open down. It, that's fine. Oh, you can, can open, open right there. It's fine. Oh, okay. But it does have to be open. You want it if you as... open it from the inside, does it open down? There you go. Closed. Bloop. And it puts you right on top here. That's pretty good. And then I saw other folks had put one about here. You're getting up top. And then also one on the back door. <laughs> That's so great. Ooh. Sorry. Hey. My bad. <laughs> now, yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea putting one in the back door or not. Help to get up in here. Is it going to make it hard to get out? Thing. We'll try it. You tried to come in? Easy. Yeah, it puts you right in. Close the door. What about getting out, though? Yeah, it locks you in here. You gotta jump on top of it, I think, to get out. Yeah. yeah. Which is a little rough. I don't know, is that worth it? It makes it way easier to get in. Um. I don't, I, let's, let me pack it for just a second. Mm hmm. I mean, it's not that hard to get in here, just, so probably... Just out of curiosity, I want to see if you can... <laughs> you Where'd can you get go? <laughs> all the way to the top? 
<laughs> I wanted to see if that worked or not. So you can shoot all the way up through the, the hatch from here. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you want to take it for a walk real quick, and then I'll, I'll call it at the end of this video, and then we'll make I'll make my sure. elevator still. Let's take her for the maiden voyage, buddy. Hey, we can just get in the back like that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, it's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. It is very hard to see where you're going. But that's got speed, man. That's definitely faster than the stiletto. Nice. I don't know, maybe it, maybe it seems faster because of the point of view. I'm trying to figure out which I could see better, pulled out or pulled in. I guess it's a little bit better pulled out. The turning is a little sluggish. It's got a nice lean when you turn, though, like it's got a suspension. Nice. I like these wings, man. We're going to break a lot of stuff because I'm kind of blind. <laughs> you definitely have to get used to using it. Just jump off and take a look at it as it goes. Man, man. That is neat looking, man. Hey, take it for a spin. I'll come back. I was I jumped off so I could, I could actually see it from out here. Open the back door for it. I here up top already. Hey. You gonna close that? I can't. I can't see, see it. Okay. Oh, yeah. This doesn't bother me at all on the inside. No? No, you can't really. I mean, you can't see great off to either side. But when I was driving that stiletto for us, like piloting through that stuff, in the very front of it, all the time like this is about the view i could see anyways i mean you can still turn and see some either direction oh yeah this doesn't like i was a little worried about it after seeing that this bottom at all you know and if you're Are you, you know, zoomed all the way in or all the way out i haven't touched that at all hold on let me oh no i was i was in i'm all the way in yeah i'm all the way in there's just Do enough gap that? yeah there's just enough gap on either side that you can kind of just peek to the right or left and mm -hmm. see kind of off the side. You definitely have side. to turn your head. Yeah. I take it though. That is neat. Do you want to move it up top and see what it looks like from there? Move it up top? Where? Yeah. Like just move it up and see if you're okay driving. Well, I mean, you're going to drive it from inside, aren't you? Yeah, because otherwise, what's the point, right? Right. I yeah. mean, otherwise, it's just sort of an upgraded dinghy. Yeah, I, I totally want to drive it from the inside all the time. I mean, I'd like to be able to have both. Like, you know, you'd be up here cruising along, and I'd like to put it right here. <laughs> That'd be cool. And you'd be up here cruising along, and you see a big Falco coming, so you just jump down in there and grab the other levers. Yeah. But uh, they don't let you do that. It would be neat if you could have two sets like that. I guess the point is they want to facilitate people disabling you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Why I'm gonna, not? I'm going to get out here and grab a screenshot of this bad boy from the side. Man, that is neat looking. It's so chubby. I love it. With the armored stuff. It's pretty nice. His wings are huge. Back up for just a second, buddy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to back up too because of the top. I forget I gotta crap that out. The screenshot saved. I dig it, man. That looks great. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Good work, man. What was it? Control U? Shift U. Shift U. Yep. There we go. All right, guys. Oh, let me get out of this mode here. Good. Nope. X. There we go. 
All right, guys, let's call that an episode. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Got to make our, got to make that new walker. We got to do monkeys. Mine's going to be next. Um, I didn't get the chance to harvest all the crazy materials, so I'm not going to do it at the, the higher level like his. It'll still be a higher level, just quite as high as this one, but... Thanks for hanging out, checking out the Oasis video here, the last Oasis video. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content. And this has been something I've been streaming more than anything else, so I'll probably keep doing the streams here. Uh, feel free to join us if you want to or check out the video on demand after it's all done. And I will catch you on the flip side. I just pressed the arc button to wave. I want you to know that. Bye. <laughs>